Hey guys, so let's talk about the biggest mistake you can make when you're using Zabbix Agent Active. Um, we do have a video about what are the active checks and how it actually works, what do you need to configure, but uh, just a quick recap. So for the active checks uh, in the agent config file at czabbix, zabbixagentd.conf, uh, we need to have a server active, uh, which should be an IP address of the Zabbix server or the proxy to which agent will be connecting, uh, getting the config and sending the values, and also the host name should match case sensitive the host name you have configured in your front end. So that was the long story short. Uh, now to the mistake part. So I do have a Zabbix front end, it's 4.4, but uh, don't worry, the same um, critical problem actually applies on uh, all of the previous versions. It doesn't matter if you're running a 3.0, uh, 3.2, 3.4, 4.0, or probably something even 2. Dot, uh, something. Um, so what I have in the front end is just one single host. Host called YouTube uh, with the interface of an agent uh, local host IP and still all my Zabbix is installed here. So that's my virtual machine. Uh, I have the Zabbix server, front end, database, agent, everything on one machine. Uh, what else? Uh, I have two items. Two items, one is system CPU load, and the second one is uh, calculating the total uh, memory uh, on my system. Uh, first one is Zabbix agent, and the second one is Zabbix agent active. So what's the mistake, and uh, what are the consequences of this mistake? Uh, consequences strictly depends on like uh, what kind of items are we talking about do you have a triggers on them um, the worst part is that you can spend a lot a lot of time troubleshooting this problem and despite the fact that it's nothing complicated it's really simple and trivial mistake but if you don't know it then probably it will take some time for you to understand that and I'm 100% sure that some of you already experienced this um, in your day-to-day uh, -day work with the Zabbix. So to actually show you the problem, I will open monitoring latest data of my YouTube host and we can check the system CPU load, which looks uh, fairly reasonable for uh, almost empty virtual machine where nothing actually is happening. Uh, the maximal value is 0 0.08, so nothing works wrong here. Uh, looks just like a regular item, but if we would check uh, the total memory on the virtual machine, the graph looks like this. And uh, in the legend we can see that uh, the minimal value is 8 gigs and the maximal value is 17 gigs. And based on the graph, uh, this change is happening each uh, something around 15-20 uh, seconds which of course I uh, dedicated, chose this uh, metric total memory on the virtual machine, of course, and obviously nobody is plugging in and out eight gigs of memory on my um, system, on my virtual machine. So this is definitely something strange and uh, what people might suspect on the first thing is uh, some bug issues, issues with an agents. Uh, so, okay, I am monitoring my system. I could go to the CLI, check the agent logs, bar logs, Zabbix, Zabbix, agent D, like nothing, agent works correctly. Okay, I know my other troubleshooting steps, so let's check latest data. The key is VM memory size. Via memory size will remember that. So I can run a Zabbix get minus s my host dm dot memory dot size. Don't worry, this is in the bytes, so this is 8.2 uh, gigs, and uh, I don't know, all the time it is returning the correct value. And if I was one of the three, 8, 8 gigs, so still not clear and uh, the graph still remains like this and if I would check 500 latest values you can also see that I'm receiving two different values all the time so now getting to the problem 
Uh, the problem is that I showed in the beginning of the video that there are two parameters you need to configure in the agent, in the agent d.conf, which is a server active, and a host name. And this host name, YouTube, must match case sensitive the host name of my host inside the front end. And how do you think what will happen if uh, by any cases, any reasons in my monitored environment, I will have two Zabbix agents with the same host name and correct server active and correct um, agent configuration. So agent will be working. So that's actually is the result what will be happening right now. This looks like some crazy uh, sauce simply because I am receiving a data from two hosts, not from only my Linux machine, but from something else too. And if I would check the system CPU load, it looks correct because it is a passive, Zabbix agent passive, which is polling actually the interface of my host. So. Uh, YouTube host interface 127001. However, I active checks Savix agent active has nothing to do uh, with this host interface. So this works only for the passive checks. Okay, so now we know that the problem is that we are receiving um, metrics, same identical metric from two different hosts, and uh, we need to fix the problem. Um, yes, of course, it's easy, like in this example, when I have just uh, one host and uh, one virtual machine, but what to do in the production environment where you have possibly thousands of the hosts? How can you actually identify on which of those thousand hosts you have a Zabbix agent, which is also running with the same YouTube host name? And it's also actually fairly easy easy. So all you need to do is change the host name. YouTube test. Before that it was a YouTube and we do know that uh, host name must match in the front end and in the config file. So what I will do now, uh, go back to the CLI, I will reload Zabbix server minus r config cache reload. So right now I made the changes and all you need to do is do the tail on the Zabbix server log, Zabbix server log, and there we go. We already see where's the problem. So this line cannot send list of active checks to IP address, host, YouTube, not found. It means that an agent from this IP address uh, using an active agent checks connected to my server and presented its host name from the config file YouTube, but we don't have a host YouTube in our Zabbix server. That's why cannot send a list of active checks. And there's the second one, 127001, same host YouTube, which again is not found and cannot send list of active checks. So these two hosts are the ones that previously were sending a values to my uh, YouTube host total memory size. And uh, yeah, so that's actually the way how you can identify them. And uh, what was actually the problem I did had uh, Zabbix agent also on my Windows machine uh, with the same configuration file, which is uh, host name YouTube and uh, I have 16 gigs on my Windows host and eight on my Linux machine. So those were those two duplicate metrics. And when I know the IP addresses of uh, those uh, false hosts that should not report this, I can simply open, uh, first of all, log into that host, uh, open the config, uh, change host name to something else, save it. I will restart my Zabbix agent because I've changed uh, the configuration file. There we go. Then I can go back to the front end, configuration host, and uh, revert my change with the host name. So change it back to the YouTube update, reload the config, and uh, just for not waiting when our local agent will be reloading the config for the active checks again, I will uh, systemctl restart Zabbix agent, 
and right now I should start to receive uh, proper data in we can wait for a minute or so so there we go we received 8 gigs and the next metrics will also remain the same so we can check 500 latest value see that previously it was flapping with each iteration and now it's all the time is uh, identical 8 gigs yeah there you go 888 so the problem is fixed and uh, it's a really dangerous uh, problem and mistake that you could make in your production environment, but it's fairly simple to identify it and fix it. And if you do have uh, tons of these log lines in your server config file, it means that you have tons of agent uh, in your monitored environment that are trying to connect to your server and presenting the host name, which actually doesn't exist in your front end. So first of all, double check should they. Maybe uh, you have a host called um, like this, lowercase YouTube, and you are thinking that you're actually monitoring it. But if this is lowercase, but in the agent config file you have uppercase YouTube, it's still not work. So, uh, long story short, check your log files, check them for these lines, and uh, probably spend some time uh, identifying the problems and cleaning them, uh, checking those hosts, should they be monitored, should you actually have this host inside the front end, or maybe you can simply disable active checks on this agent at all. So that's about it for today. Uh, don't forget to click those like buttons, subscribe, ask any questions in the comments, and if you want to get uh, more comment, you can always um, support us on our Patreon page, where I'm also trying to post some uh, additional uh, content, uh, some scripts, templates, and something really practical that you can try in your lab. So, thank you, and goodbye for today.